Hi everyone. Today I'm going to share with you some of the principles that you need to understand in order to write a good problem statement. And what is a problem statement? You need to have that big idea in your mind when you write a problem statement. A problem statement is a statement about a problem. So you need to think about you, the areas that you want to investigate, your research, and you need to keep asking yourself, is there a problem? And this idea must come from your literature review. Now, the question to some research student is, how much is enough? Now, the idea is that you have to look at the mainstream uh, research area and to get important literature or articles that actually highlight the problems of this particular area. So there is really no limit as to um, how much is enough, but uh, you need to look at um, the findings that you have got, whether it is significant enough to suggest that there is a problem. So it's very, very, um, I would say, uh, judgmental at times, right? but you need to have that backing uh, for your study to say that this is a problem. Now, when you have conceptualized the idea, then you, when you know this is a problem, then that problem statement should lead you to formulating research objectives and research question, and therefore your intended research. Now, what is not a problem? Before we look at what is a problem, maybe it is good to look at what is not a problem. Now, these are all my past experiences when I supervise uh, postgraduate students and even when I was a review panel for some of the uh, research students, these are the areas that um, some of them um, kept using, which is actually um, can be problematic. Now, number one is lack of study in this area. Some research student will say, this is the area that I need to research into, or this is a particular uh, uh, area or particular tool or particular field that I want to study because there isn't any study. Now, lack of study in an area is not a problem by itself. Why? The question that you have to ask yourself is, is this a problem? There is no study in this area. Is this a problem? Now, why is there no study in this area? It could be, for example, um, the contribution expected is not significant. There is no need to have a study in this area. Or maybe there is not much of a contribution or maybe it is an area that cannot be researched into. So before you say there is a lack of research in this area, you have to think about all these possibilities and really think seriously about your intended research. The second point that um, some students mentioned is studies were carried out elsewhere um, in other countries, but it was not done in my country. Now, the question is, if a lot of studies have, to been, done, have been done elsewhere, and they're all um, saying the same thing. For example, it was um, six, um, statistically significant. Now, what makes your country so different from other countries of the world? So <clears throat> if you think about the, uh, this uh, title by itself, it's not significant enough to contribute as a problem, but rather you have to focus on social differences, uh, cultural differences, or maybe uh, legal system differences that would uh, justify your study in a local context. Next one is studies would carry out using a particular type of sample, but mine would use a different types of sample. Maybe previous studies were done on um, adults, but I would try to uh, carry out a, a research on students. Now the question is, what's so different about uh, students compared to adults? So your focus is articulating the differences of the samples, not so much of um, because different types of samples, but rather you have to explain the characteristics or the differences of this sample. The next one is um, studies have found some factors, but I want to find more factors. So the question is, at the moment, is this a problem? Research, research has shown um, factors affecting, for example, uh, women entrepreneurship. But 
is there a problem at the moment? So if there is a problem, then it will be acceptable for you to further research to see whether you can find any new factors. But the question from the examiners is always this. Think about this. Are the existing factors not sufficient to help people to solve the problems? And what makes you think that you can find more factors if a vast amount of research has been done and they have found a lot of factors? So what is a problem? If I may borrow from the management field, a problem is bad things could happen or already happening or good things are not happening. Now there are some examples here, um, three main ones, difficulties due to unknown factors or lack of understanding or lack of effective tool. Let's take an example of online delivery of courses. Let's say the government wants to formulate some policies to implement online delivery of courses, but the government is not sure as to what factor is actually affecting the online learning among students. So therefore they need to carry out a survey. Another one is probably they want to understand how the policy on online delivery affect parents and students. So they need to have an understanding of situations. So they may need to interview some parents or students in order to understand uh, the difficulties that they are facing, the emotional challenges that they are experiencing, and so on and so forth. So usually, lack of understanding would lead to uh, some qualitative approach on the problem. Or there could be a lack of effective tools. Maybe the government is thinking of online delivery, but it seems that there is lack of effective tools that they can use. So therefore, they need to test um, some new tools that they have developed to see whether it's effective or not. So these are the problems. So you have to ask yourself, does your intended research have this problem? So conclusion, problems in the past. So you need to have uh, quite a good amount of literature review in order to articulate the problems um, that the field is facing. And that leads to your intended study. How can your study solve some of the problems? So this will be the big picture. And these are the things that I want to share. So I hope you find this short video useful. So remember, when you want to craft your problem statement, you have to keep asking yourself that big question, the big idea. Is there a problem? Thank you very much.